Alright, so hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a tour of my phone. It's super minimalist and I've put a couple hacks on here in order for it to work most optimally for me and my life and what I'm really trying to do with a device like this. Just a couple hours ago I removed my SIM card from my phone and so I now am starting a different challenge which you'll learn about shortly but I thought it would be the perfect day just as I'm starting this other challenge to kind of review things on this phone and why I chose to set them up the way I did. So opening up into the uh, phone, here we have my home screen. My rule tends to be that if I'm not using the app at least once a week, there's a few that I have on here that I'll tell you why I have on my phone that I don't use every week, but uh, I feel the value that it brings when it's just readily available is a lot higher than um, having to re-download it every time that I might use it. So to start with, we have mail. Uh, then we have my calendar, which I really only have. I don't use the calendar itself. I, I basically just use it as a date that I look at when I'm not looking at my lock screen for a date. Uh, then photos, obviously I use photos a lot, and the camera I use frequently. Now Google Keeps is a really cool app that uh, if you aren't using it, I would highly suggest using it. Um, I use this for kind of more daily or weekly things, and then I have a journal where I put down goals, etc., and then I use Evernote. Uh, the most out of any of the kind of note-taking productivity apps, but Google Keeps is super awesome and I love it. Then I have my podcast app. I have voice memos, which I love to use. Sometimes in the car when thoughts come to me, I can just put on a voice memo uh, and, you know, just be able to look back at it instead of typing, obviously because I wouldn't want to be typing and driving at the same time. So then I have my Google Maps, which I use on a daily basis, almost daily basis, all the time. I've got Safari and the regular Notes app, which I use for um, a couple things that just make more sense on the, the uh, Apple version of Notes. And so I have that there. Then I have Spotify, Evernote, which I use a ton, Instagram which is the main social media app that I use. There's a couple reasons that this screen is the way it is. One, I think having too many folders uh, on your home page is very distracting and will get you opening apps and doing extra things that you really probably don't want to be doing. I know for myself there's multiple times a day sometimes where I open my phone and there's no reason that I'm opening it. I'm just opening it to open it to do something which I don't know what that is. Now I'm interested to see with this other challenge that I'm doing for this coming week how that might change my engagement and even the apps that are on my phone currently. I have turned off all notifications except for text messages and phone calls. Otherwise I do not get any notifications. So another thing that I do frequently is I just turn it on airplane mode. Um, you know, you can also set up your do not disturb so that you only let certain people through. I haven't done that yet. Uh, maybe with this upcoming challenge that I'm doing, I will end up uh, configuring that and wanting that in my life. But right now it doesn't feel super necessary. And uh, if I really don't want to be reached, I will just turn on airplane mode for hours at a time. Uh, especially when I'm just walking around with it in my pocket because I really don't want to be radiating my body constantly. So that's a whole nother issue of just like the health issues I have with cell phones, but unrelated to my minimalist phone and why my screen looks the way it does. We're going to slide over here. Now over here on this 
page I have just a couple things and you see one notification there which is annoying but it's like a software update on on the Apple settings and so I haven't cleared that but we'll just quickly go through here I have my finance and crypto so I have uh, my bank and the one credit card that I used to use but now I've eliminated all credit cards from my life so that will be deleting shortly I've got my Charles Schwab account I have Venmo. Venmo is one of those apps that I don't necessarily use every day, but I do think it is a valuable tool that I would like to have in my life, that I would like to have available when I need it and whenever that may be. So I don't use it every week, but it's a resource that I want to have on my phone. Then we have Coinbase, which is the one of the, one of the crypto platforms that I use for uh, investing in cryptocurrencies. Then I have my CoinStats, which is a really cool app if you are into crypto. Um, you can check this one out. I would highly suggest it. Oh, it probably won't load because I'm out here. But anyway, it gives like all the altcoins and obviously all the normal ones, and you can set up favorites and other stuff like that. Then we have uh, Google Authenticator and Telegram, which also is crypto stuff, so that's that's that. Then we have a Gmail, which I really don't even need. So as this video is going, I'm gonna delete Gmail because I really just don't I don't need it. Um, then I have my Squarespace Commerce app, app which is one of those things that I don't necessarily use every week but sometimes I use it multiple times a week and sometimes I don't it just depends on how many orders I get for various things on my website whether I need to access that or not and so I do have uh, notifications set up for this app I think that's it that's the only other app besides my text and calling that I have um, just because it relates to business things and I want to know when an order comes through so that I can fulfill that. We have Canva, which I use a little bit, but uh, I probably really don't need as well. I probably can get rid of that. See, this is more like live uh, clearing of my phone. Uh, Unfold, I am going to keep for now because it has some pretty cool fonts that I like to use for uh, Instagram related things, which I do tend to use at least once a week. We have my Zoom app, which I use once a week from about September until June. And so right now, I'm again, I'm not using that. But the, the resource and having it available is important. And in case I do astrology readings, um, that's the app that I use. And then have my D DJI, uh, my drone app, and my Canon app. They connect to my tech stuff. Magic Hours, a super cool app if you're into um, photography, etc. You can so you can tell when the magic hour is for wherever it is that you happen to live. Okay, then we have one app here. It's Star Guide. I used to have shop shopping stuff in here like Amazon and eBay, but I decided to get rid of those. So this app is really cool. And basically, you move it around. Hang on. Move it around, and it shows you where the constellations are in the sky. Uh, I don't tend to really like a lot of apps like that because it brings you out of the present moment and whoever it is you're spending it with. But I also find it beneficial as I'm studying astro astrology and just trying to learn more about astronomy and so I do my best not to really use that app when I'm with other people outside but it's a really good resource for me to have on my phone that I do use pretty frequently so then we have the health and travel we have mountain project which is a climbing app Dminder super cool app about tracking vitamin D uh, Anyway, one of the best, really cool, if you're into Dr. Jack Cruz at all, this app is the one he suggests to have on your phone, so anyway, super cool. 
We have Wake Up and Insight Timer, which are both meditation apps. I've been experimenting with both of these and trying to figure out which one I like more, and I haven't come up with a answer to that yet, so I still have both of them on here. Um, and likely I'll be doing a meditation challenge soon, so hopefully either before or during or after I'll be able to decide which app I want to keep, but for now both of those are on there. Then we have My Radar, which is a app uh, that I use for my forest therapy stuff, as well as just uh, weather, which I rarely check. But this is a good resource app that I like to have because uh, just the the graphics that it shows, so I can make you know smart decisions if I have a group of people out on a forest therapy walk and I hear thunder or rain, I can decide you know if if it's going to pass quick or if maybe it's not going to pass and we'll have to cancel or, or whatever. It's just a really good resource again. Uber is kind of like Venmo. I don't use it when I'm home, but when I'm traveling I use it a lot. And so I, keep, I chose to keep that on my phone. We have Airbnb and Skyscanner, which at one point I had deleted and then I needed it a couple times and so I decided I should re-download them. So that's why I have those. And then lastly, we have App Store, Contacts, My Alarm Clock, Settings, Files, and YouTube TV. Now, YouTube TV is not a necessity at all. Um, once in a while, I want to watch something on my phone, and there's an issue with it on my computer, and so I've kept it on my phone for now, but likely I will also... Uh, get rid of it. There's just one specific thing that I, w I like to watch and um, I don't always get to watch it live and so having it on the phone is a way to do that. So that's pretty much it on my phone here. This was a, a minimalist phone video and just sharing of what I have on here. For me I want technology to be practical and useful and not a distraction to my day and what I'm trying to accomplish. I want to be able to stay connected with some people, but I also recognize that, you know, maybe we're too connected. Maybe maybe we're we're really not meant to be as connected as we are and as reachable as we are even. You know, Sometimes you get a text and then you get a following one in an hour or two being like, are you okay because you hadn't responded in a certain amount of time and people are starting to worry. And that's just crazy to me. It's like, it didn't used to be that way, but now when someone doesn't respond to a text message within, you know, probably an hour, people are like, oh, you know, some are worried, depending on what your texting relationship is like. I've slowly begun to kind of wean people off of this idea that I'm super reachable. And it's not that I don't, I don't want to talk to people, you know, while we're not in physical space. It's more that the more connected we are virtually, the less I feel a need or a want to connect in person. Um, I really think we're changing, we're, we're exploiting that, that human need for social contact through the virtual space. And so, you know, gosh, so many of us are, we're living in a time that has never, literally never been as connected as we are. And yet, we've never had mental issues like we are having now. I think it's important to constantly reevaluate and question why, the, why things are the way they are. And even in your life, you know, why did you even get an iPhone in the first place? This is a question I'm thinking about right now and relates to this challenge that I'm doing. Why is it that we feel like we can't live without our phones now? It's, it's super, super strange. 
Anyway, I'll stop kind of rambling here because I know the video is over and um, you've seen my phone, you've he heard a little bit of the hacks that I use. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for this one. If you want to see other videos, more personal videos, uh, more in-depth videos about various topics, I will be sharing those over on Patreon, which is linked below. Um, I am just getting started with this. We'll see how it goes. I'm just excited to share my life a bit more and to people who really love and support my content because um, there are things that I want to talk about here but I, I don't want to be shared just publicly to the masses. I want to be able to share it to a smaller amount of people who really love my work and who I am and what I'm about. So you can check that out if you're interested. I will see you super soon in another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Life is wonderful